There it is everybody. This is one of the main reasons I personally feel that these videos which are on this profile are important. Cheryl Schumann is spamming YouTube with four or more profiles. I think it's six profiles. That's one of them. Rich Little Poor Girl 08. And one of the first ones she's put on here is one that closes with and guess what? We're open for internships. She doesn't have a business running to where she can have interns. And she's not even referring to internships in the, in the proper sense where you would get college credit if you were an intern. So I'm hoping that people understand or maybe people search for Cheryl Schumann and what and her obsession with people's private information and their resumes, their phone numbers and their their work histories. She's fishing trying to get people's entire work histories by asking for resumes if you were to talk to her about internships. And I'm hoping that people can easily find out what Cheryl does with this information when she gets it. You can search Google to see what she has tried to do to people's careers. You can put in Cheryl Schumann and Sam Conti Jr. You can put in Cheryl Schumann and Joyce Danilin. You can put in Cheryl Schumann and Mario Natrini. And Cheryl Schumann, John David Briley. Cheryl Schumann, Kenneth Dennis. Fortunately, all of these people have been brick houses unable to be torn down by Cheryl's obsession with ruining people's careers. She tried it to Isabella Brave on on YouTube as well and failed. Fortunately we're all brick houses so far but there are people out there who give their resumes out frivolously without doing much research into who they're sending the resume to this is one you want to read up on and make a very wise decision before you send any information to Cheryl Schumann. And this is pertaining to other failed or non-existent businesses that she runs, she advertises. She advertises these businesses that don't exist. Showbiz Boot Camp the in crowd vlog, trend tracker, and jet set date. All of this is crap. Don't send her a resume. That's my advice. Uh, if you, I'm gonna give you a quick example of something that can happen to you if she does have any information on you. Here's me talking to DRJ69. Let's see. DRJ669 was talking under a video oppose, that, that opposes or challenges Cheryl. And I say, I guess you missed all the videos about Cheryl Schumann trying to get people's real life information, spamming lies, using their real life info on multiple websites. It's all being kept up with by many, but you're free to ignore the facts. I told him that. He replied saying, you know, you're right. She lately attacked me. So, I guess, I was wrong about her, and you're right. Thanks. And then, after that, two days ago, compared to two weeks ago, based on when, relative to when this video is made, we're talking two weeks have passed, and he says on a Cheryl video, which she uploaded to Cheryl Schumann Hospital. He is saying, Why can't you get them days back? You act like it's forever gone. You are not dumb, and you're a good person, Cheryl. God bless you. So I think that behind the scenes in private messages, DRJ69 has been bullied into coming and commenting on Cheryl's videos.